Today I'll show you how to assemble and adjust a MAT2ES OMAX microscope. Once you receive your package to mail, open the carton box carefully using a knife or a paper cutter. Inside, you should have a cushion letter that has a link to the instruction manual. Make sure to keep it and to not discard it. Now take out the styrofoam container in the box. Now, make sure that the, uh, to find the up sign with the arrow pointing upward on the styrofoam container and open it. Move the cover very gently and carefully. Take all the pieces out and place them on a flat and firm surface. In your package, you should have a microscope body, a binocular head, two sets of eyepieces, a headlock thumb screw that might already be in place on the microscope body, immersion oil, power adapter, color filter, and a dust cover. So now you're ready to assemble the microscope. First, I'll start with the binocular head. Simply remove the cap on the microscope body and screw the headlock thumb screw in. Very loosely, just a little bit. Take the binocular head and remove the cap and insert the head in the body like this. Make sure that it's seated completely and tighten the headlock thumb screw. Now, now the eyepieces. It is very important to make sure to remove the caps on the eyepiece tubes and simply take a pair of eyepieces and place them in the tube. Now take the power cord and plug the power cord in the power socket at the back of the microscope and in the power outlet. Turn the switch on and the assembly of the microscope is now complete. Before using the microscope, you need to make some adjustment. So before doing that, let's start with placing the specimen on the stage. Usually you want to use a slide that is not included in the package of the microscope but you can purchase them separately or so let's take a slide um, in order to place it first you want to lower the stage to its minimum height using the coarse focus adjustment knob Place the slide on the stage and gently secure it using the slide holder. You want to make sure that the slide is placed right underneath the objective by using the X and Y adjustment knob. Now, you want to adjust the interpupillary distance. While observing through the eyepieces, Hold both eyepiece tubes and slide in and out. When the distance is correct, the left and right field of view should converge to a single one. That is, you'll see a single image instead of two. Now, you also want to adjust the ocular diopter. So first, place the 10 times objective into position. 
and note the interpupillary distance. Rotate the diopter ring to both diopter rings to that number. So in my case, I have 59 as my interpupillary distance. So I simply turn the diopter ring to that number so that the white dot points to 59. And I do the same on the left side. Now, close one of your eyes, let's say the left one, and use your right eye only. Get the image to be focused using the coarse and fine focus adjustment knobs. Once you get it, close your right eye and use your left eye only. Now this time do not touch the focus adjustment knobs, but only the diopter ring. Adjust it until you get the image focused. Now, specimen might differ in size, so you might want to use different objectives, such as the 40 times or the 100 times. Before using them, make sure that the spring moves smoothly and is not stuck. The proper way of focusing is to start using the 10 times objective. Now use the coarse and fine focus adjustment knobs. Once you get the image focused under the 10 times objective, you can turn the 40 times objective into position. And now only use the fine focus adjustment knob to get the image focused. For the 100 times objective, the same procedure applies. However, you also need to use the immersion oil. In order to do this, simply rotate the revolving nose piece so that the observing position is right between the 40 and 100 times objectives. And add one drop of immersion oil on the slide. Now turn the 100 times objectives into position and use the fine focus adjustment knobs to get the image focused. In order to get the optimum conditions for your observation, um, you can also adjust the condenser and move it up or down depending on the objectives you're using. So if you're using higher power objectives, you should raise the condenser and lower it when using the four or ten times objectives. You can also change the size of the aperture by moving the hour stack frag. And finally, the brightness using the intensity dial. You can also change the color using a color filter and simply place it in the filter holder and slide it under the condenser. Now once you're done uh, make, with your observation, you need to clean the 100 times objective and the slides immediately. So simply use a lens paper that is also not included in the microscope package. And clean it very gently like this. Just make sure that 
there's no more oil on the objective lens. And also the slide. So when you're using the 100 times objective, uh, you have to use it with the oil. But when using it, make sure that the 40 times that does not require the oil is dry and does not touch the oil. Otherwise, it will damage the objective. Now, if you want to use another, the other pair of eyepieces, simply remove the 10 times eyepieces and change place the 20 times into the eyepiece tube. If you want to use a camera, then simply remove one of the eyepiece and place the camera into the eyepiece tube. Now that you have everything settled, you can enjoy observing under your MHG2 ES Omax microscope.